Chrissy's Cookie Corner. As you can see, we have a very special guest today, Mr. Billy Merritt. I'm very special. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you, you for joining me, Billy. Well, Chrissy, thank you for having me. Any chance to eat a cookie in a corner. Oh. Are you kidding? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Billy, yeah. you brought us Sausalitos. Sausalitos. You told me these are your favorite cookies, Yes, right? I do like them. I do. I feel like I have to defend myself. You know what I do like about it? Because it's got macadamia nuts in it. I saw that. Mm -hmm. I saw that. That's a nice little twist from yeah. like a standard just plain old chocolate chip. Yeah. I like a good nut in my cookie and uh, the best of the nuts. In fact, the king of nuts is the macadamia nut. Oh, really? Yeah. Rich milk chocolate and macadamia nuts and... I don't know what else there's in there. We could read the package later. Okay, that's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> the Pepperidge Farm, they, for some reason, they make it difficult to open your packages. Oh my gosh, you know what I've discovered during these reviews? What? Cookie packages are hard to get into. You should be able to push a button and the whole thing just explodes into your face. So they're milk, chocolate, macadamia, chocolate chunk, crispy cookies. Mm, okay, mm, so mm. let's take a bite and see what we think. Taste that macadamia nut? They're perfect for milk dipping. Sausalitos from Pepperidge Farm. Yes. Who's gonna like these cookies? They've got a lot of things going on. They've got chocolate and they've got nuts. So mm -hmm. if you are the kind of person who likes to multitask, yeah. you're gonna like this cookie. Really, you think a multitasker would like this because <laughs> there's nuts and uh, chocolate in there. You think somebody who can only do one thing cannot handle two things in a cookie? Really? You might be right. You might be right. I don't know. <laughs> It's like a, it's like a joke. Oh, this is serious to me. I'm sorry. Sausalito Summertime by Diesel, written as a one-hit wonder in the 80s. Wow, I can't yeah. wait to hear you sing it for us. Uh, I only know one line. Got a burger and a root beer. I feel it's not on the high-end sweet scale, but it's definitely not a not sweet cookie. That's so right. somebody who likes it in the middle, okay? okay. And I, I'm a medium cookie guy. I think, uh, uh, like even Oreos can be a little too busy for me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but but then again, graham crackers are fun, but they can get a little, you know, stifling at times. So this is right in the middle of the road, just like the enclave of Sausalito. Mm. And every cookie should be treated like a wine at first. So we start with an odor. Sounds like a cookie. There is coconut in here, Billy. I thought so. I mean, coconut is usually a selling point. Mm -hmm. Come for the chocolate, stay for the macadamia nut. And I do. I do. I do come for the chocolate and I stay for the macadamia nut. Well, this is a delight. Thank you so much for joining me. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I go to my dark Sausalito place. <laughs> Sausalito, time. Sausalito. Billy is a wonderful improviser and we can see him in Los Angeles. At Every yeah, Monday night at seven for the smokes, uh, various ASCAPs throughout the week. And I, I show up at your house and improvise if you want me to. Great, well thank you so much for joining us, thank Billy. Thank you. Bye. Leave a comment below and let me know what kind of cookie you want me to try next. Oh, now that, that, right at that moment, I said, you know what? These aren't my favorite cookies. It's those sugar wafers. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a sugar wafer. You remember those? The, yeah. Oh, my God. Those are my favorite cookies beyond belief.